Hello, Pisces. Welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network, you guys. I hope y'all are all doing well, as always. You know, just making it, not breaking it. <laughs> I'm corny, you guys. That's just how I am. I can't change it. Everywhere I go, I'm a cornball, okay? We're going to do another reading for you guys to see what the messages are. Welcome or welcome back. If you are new, be sure to subscribe. Anything you guys need to know is below. And if the reading is resonating, you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, put a brain emoji in the comments. Okay. For Pisces, Guardian Angels, Archangel Spirit Guides, Ancestors, Father Mother God for Pisces. Oh, what is this? The Hierophant in Reverse. You're talking to someone. Mm, okay, so the Two of Cups. So, Pisces, I feel like right now, you guys are not doing what other people want you to do okay um <laughs> as always the hierophant in reverse it's like you're not committing or devoting yourself to anybody you're committing and devoting yourself to yourself that's pretty much what i feel with the hierophant in reverse it seems like you're talking to someone who is unconventional or you're in an unconventional, unconventional non-traditional relationship or connection. Some of you guys are weighing the options of whether or not you're going to commit to a person because you don't want to commit or you, whatever feelings you have on commitment, you're not into it right now. Okay. Some of you guys are in a non-traditional commitment. So it may just be like, open and casual some of you guys may be in the lgbtq community but you're having conversations back and forth with a person and i feel like you're kind of trying to decide how you want to handle this situation what you want to do when it comes to this person you may be talking to other people but i i just feel like oh why am i weaving Man, my allergies have been so messed up, you guys. So if my voice sounds funny or I'm breathing hard, this dog on pollen has been tearing me up, but I digress. If there's someone that you are talking to right now, there's one person that's further along in the running than the other person, okay? But you're making a connection with someone Pisces, okay? And it's just really, it's really casual. It's really like no pressure right now at this time. They don't have like any criteria for you. You don't really have any criteria for them. It's like, oh, you need to text me back or call me back by a certain time or whatever. It's not like that. It's very relaxed. Like I, I was feeling that energy when we first started the reading, like, you guys are really laid back. You're really relaxed. You're really chill when it comes to the different people and connections that you have in your life. Um, some of you, this could be a friend, but it's just like no pressure, please. Okay. What's the Hierophant in reverse for Pisces? The Eight of Cups. Yeah, because there's some type of you're trying something different. You're you're leaving the the way that you used to do things behind. When it comes to meeting people, talking to people, you're not forcing things, okay, with the star card and the 5 of cups. You're really not forcing it. There is something that you're healing from. You walked away from a situation that was kind of disappointing. And there was probably nothing left in the situation. So you had to walk away from it. And now it's like, you may be wanting to be independent. You may be wanting to stand on your own. Because you really have lost your desire 
to be committed, I feel. you. It, it's not necessarily that you've lost your desire to be committed. It's just you don't want that right now, okay? Ooh, the tower. The fool and the queen of pentacles. Ooh. What else is this hierophant reverse for Pisces? Like, y'all, y'all's energy is really mellow. Like, queen of swords. My cards are bent, y'all, and it's irking me. But we just gonna, we just gonna let it ride. Okay. Queen of swords and the six of pentacles. So you've received something recently. Either you were very nice to someone, you were very giving, generous, but also educated. Like there's there's someone here who sees you, they view you in a really positive light. Or you view this person in a really positive light, you see them in a positive way. Because they were kind to you, they were generous towards you. They didn't ask you necessarily for anything in return when a lot of people that you've encountered have asked a lot of you, this person doesn't do that. And I feel like you also kind of return the favor. I feel like you also realized that you have to kind of wing it when it comes to things. You have to play it by ear because I don't know if you received some money recently or someone just did a kind gesture for you, did something nice for you. Um, but it basically led you down this path of clarity in regards to where you needed to go. And wherever it led you was to a place that was a little bit nonchalant, but not like in a negative way. Just not so critical of yourself and other people. Queen of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So you guys could definitely be having some situations that are going on with your money with your work right now okay i feel like you were waiting for this payment or you were waiting for this money in order to be able to move and do something so now that you've gotten the payment you can continue to kind of juggle the different balls that you have in the air at this time what happened in the recent past i feel like this is just talking about your life situations what's going on right now Okay, you have the Chariot, the Eight of Wands, and the Nine of Cups. So, in the recent past, there was something that moved very quickly. I feel like you were satisfied with whatever happened in the recent past. Ooh, didn't see them TDs. Okay. You were very satisfied with something that happened in the recent past. I feel that this was a conversation. This could have been a conversation that happened in a vehicle. Or maybe somebody picked you up like, and took you out somewhere on a date to have drinks or something like that. But it kind of feels like there was a lot of communication. There was things moved a little quickly or you just opened up to someone. I feel like you opened up to someone recently. Like if this was a if, if this wasn't a conversation that happened like on the way to a venue, on the way home, somebody picked you up, dropped you off. Or you just had like a little sidebar, like in the car, conversation in a vehicle, talking about things, talking about where you were going. Like there was a really happy conversation about like your hopes, your dreams, your desires, all the things that you have going on, what you want to do. Maybe someone was expressing this to you as well. But you're very pleased with the way this moved forward. And I feel like you don't have a lot of um stipulations for this connection or whatever this is like if it's yourself you're not being so critical anymore of like how you move through life because some type of pressure has been relieved you may have purchased a car or something that happened with your vehicle it's something that happened with a car i don't know what it is but um you felt like you were being guided in a particular direction and you were happy about where you ended up, okay? Either with this person having this conversation or with the outcome of certain circumstances. I'm just looking, y'all. Some of you may have signed a contract recently 
which took you away from one particular organization or group and then kind of led you into another organization or group. But it was a very kind gesture. It's like open hearts, open minds, open mouths with the sword up here, like speaking. Things move forward in your favor. It's interesting, this Hierophant in reverse. It just kind of feels like you're really mellow right now because you can, it's like you finally see through some type of illusion, whether it was a personal illusion or an illusion someone was putting in your face. It kind of feels like you see through some type of, it's like you had a breakthrough about letting go and releasing. You had a breakthrough about learning, okay? A lesson, some type of education, I feel, Pisces, that you feel in this particular moment that you have to learn from something. And that's what you're going forward to do. It's like the way you used to do things, the rhetoric that you used to have for yourself, how you used to determine and decipher situations, how you used to view yourself, how you handle people in situations, your beliefs have changed or they've just shifted to a more positive place where you can actually see clearly how to move forward and you don't get stuck on whatever is going on or lost in whatever's going on. I kind of feel like this Hierophant is you not being so critical of yourself. Because I feel like your critiques, maybe of yourself or other people, could have put you in a box. Okay, what's the near future for Pisces? Ooh. The Two of Pentacles. I knew that card was going to come out. Y'all, I knew the judge. I saw the judgment card in my head. So, what this is about is you coming to a point, Pisces, where it's very obvious and clear to you how, how you need to move forward. I'm telling you. It's very obvious and clear to you how you need to move forward. Some of you may have realized the calling. You're 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 moving forward quickly. You're following your guidance to do what needs to be done. Because of this six of pentacles, like something you received, whether it was compassion or kindness from another person, a compliment, some type of financial assistance, a bill being paid off, giving you peace of mind, you know, maybe closing a contract that you've had for a long time has given you some type of clarity about where you're going. And it's opening up your mind to the things that you've been putting off. This could be just you getting a check and being able to pay off like bills, debt collectors, things like that. You've been able to work on your vehicle, like work on your car if repairs needed to be made. But it was like literally you being able to settle debts. I feel like you're settling debts. I just, I'm going to pull one card out the middle. The King of Cups. So this could definitely be a Cancer. Maybe a Pisces or Scorpio, but someone with strong Cancer in their chart. Maybe they gave you some type of advice or... They could have given you some type of financial assistance or just been nice to you when people haven't been being nice to you. Communicated with you like a human being. And whatever, like, they, it's like they deposited some type of energy into your spiritual bank. It's like your reserves were low. You were drained and you were tired. And I know I don't have the four of swords, but like with the seven of pentacles and the justice card to me, Pisces, it looks like you just did not have anything. Like, I'm not saying you didn't have anything, but you, you didn't have anything that kind of lifted you up in situations. All you had was empty promises, unfulfilled wishes, delays, 
waiting, waiting, waiting for things to work out, putting everything that you had into something and kind of like being exposed out on your own, which caused you to be depleted emotionally, spiritually. And I feel like this person is like filling up your tank. In the near future, you may be traveling for work um, you may be traveling to see someone, but with this judgment card, Pisces, I saw it before the reading started. And what I heard in my head was that like, <clears throat> my bad y'all. What I heard in my head was really simple. And it was that you finally have what you need. You finally see what you need to be able to move forward. And it's been it's been right in front of your face, but I think you were questioning it because there was a lot of confusion or there was a lot of distractions keeping you from being able to move forward. Now it's like you're making up for lost time. Because you want you, it's like as soon as your tank was full, you were able to continue doing whatever it is that you need to do to help fill the tanks of other people. So I don't, I don't know what this is about necessarily. Like this could be you at work when it comes to like your job duties and your responsibilities where you couldn't really apply yourself because you didn't feel like you had what you needed. Ooh, jeez, that scared me. Child. <laughs> Y'all was laughing at me last time when the toilet went off. But that's confirmation because it's like, you didn't feel like you had what you needed. You didn't feel like you, you were literally giving, I feel, to situations that weren't giving anything back to you. And the one situation that actually has been consistently given back to you has been right in, in your face. And either the way you were looking at it, perceiving it, or the way you were handling it, or the way you were perceiving yourself for wanting to go after this opportunity or having this opportunity was negative. When in reality, you had to drop some inhibitions or you had to drop some type of like pre-programmed rhetoric that was in your mind about the situation. It's like people who say, oh, I'll never date this sign or I'll never date that sign. But then you meet someone or you realize you've had someone around you all along who was that sign. And they're actually nothing like the preconceived notions that you had. And you realize you were looking at it wrong. Or it's like you feel like, oh, you know, if your parents tell you now, this is just an example. But like if your parents tell you that you have to first get good grades in school and then graduate and go to college and then start a career and then get married and then have kids and you know or or get married buy a house have kids it's like whatever you thought was the way that you were supposed to do something you've discovered through some type of experience conversation you know trip that you had that that is not the way that you have to do it. You don't have to do it the way people tell you to do it, or you don't have to do it in the way that you believed you had to do it before because somebody came along and filled your cup. Somebody came along and filled your tank up with like just pure positive conversation, reinforcement, laughter, a good time. Like, I feel like you had a good time and you blew off some steam and it cleared out the smoke. Like the steam was something was making you angry. Something was making you mad. And I feel like someone just coming and doing something nice to you or having a good conversation with you kind of helped you blow off steam, which cleared the smoke, which allowed you to have clarity so that you could then move forward towards what you needed. Okay. What else does Pisces need to know as far as this? Ooh. In a moment to moment. Oh my goodness. Innocence. Yep. Living moment to moment helps you to continue to have your innocence to maintain your innocence. Mm-hmm. It's something about like your personality, Pisces. 
you're not so serious. Like, I feel like you're going on an adventure. You have the Eight of Wands, Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles. So it's like the fear of pursuing whatever this is, whether it's a relationship or a career, the fear is subsiding. Because you're actually taking action to move forward towards what it is that you want instead of doing what you feel like you have to do. Yeah, the outsider, the lovers, and existence. So you just purely existing, Pisces, is a testament to how situations can change. You purely existing is a testament to how the universe works in mysterious ways. And that's just not you. It's just any human. That's just how life works. And I feel like you made a choice to be an outsider. Because if you tried to go along with the crowd or go with the grain in this situation, you would be being unfaithful to yourself in a way. Okay? Yep. And that's the guidance and the transformation. So now the change is happening because you followed this guidance from spirit, basically saying that you can do whatever the fuck you want to do and you can do it however the fuck you want to do it. And if you try to do it how anybody else does it, it's not going to work out. You have to do it the way you want to do it. And I feel like you were being patient and waiting for something. Now, whatever you were waiting for is here. So this is your confirmation if you haven't seen it. But... There's definitely balancing with the Justice and the Six of Pentacles. This could be with a Libra. Okay. I'm getting like Libra, maybe Taurus, Scorpio strongly, Cancer. But with your existence right now, it's like you just want to enjoy the breath that you breathe. You just want to enjoy it. Like, because I feel like he's breathing breath. You just want to enjoy the breath that you breathe. You just want to enjoy your life. You just want to feel the sun shine down on your face and fuck everything else. So that's why I feel like how I feel, okay, about this. So I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> I hope it helped you guys. I'm just really mellow, y'all. My voice is kind of going out, so bear with me um, through these readings today. But I really love you guys. And I love this vibe because I just feel like I could just lay back and just drift off and, you know, float away on a cloud. That's how I feel. Maybe some of y'all is high. I don't know. Um, but be sure to subscribe, you guys. Be sure to like the video. Put the brains in the comments if it resonates. Affirmations and gratitude list in the comments as well so we can amplify it with our positivity. And if you would like to donate to the channel, please use the PayPal link below. Thank you to everyone who has donated, you guys. And if you would like a personal reading, the link is in the description box below, you guys. Um, if you have any questions before you want to book the reading, just let me know. Shoot me an email. I'll try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. And if you would like to browse merch or join our membership for early access, that link is below. And I'll see y'all next time. Okay? Remember, this is our circle, boo. Bye.